So, the cat of the night, with the black, black nose, with the moon on his chest and stars on his toes, was a gift to the earth as a sign of great love from her silvery mother in the dark sky above. The cat of the night is the embodiment of nighttime and darkness who rolls out the skirts of the moon. As he runs around the earth, he brings darkness with him the cool of a summer's evening and the chill of a deep winter's night. He ushers in not only the nighttime, but the dark half of the year, when night times are long and day times are short. The moon, ever protective of her creation, watches from the sky as the shadow of the cat of the night passes over the earth. The moon casts her silvery light on the chest of the cat of the night turning his black fur purest white. There is a deeper, subconscious point being made here, as the moon brands the cat as a creature of her own. The connection between cats and the moon is long established in both magical and common lore, inspiring myth and poetry across the centuries. It is the cat's eye, particularly its pupil, which can change from a thin vertical line to full and round which many have felt echoes the waxing and waning of the moon. Through that connection, the cat became a creature that is seen as both magical and changeable. Anyone who lives with a cat knows this to be the case. While this sense of being changeable is now a source of gossip and amusement between cat lovers, it hasn't always seemed such a benign quality. With the idea that cats are changeable, came the inference that they are somehow dishonest, scheming, and even malicious. Through their association with the moon, cats have also become closely associated with a number of different goddesses. While some goddesses have manifested as cats or had feline elements to their physiology, others have cats who are associated or work with them. This has given the cat a strong feminine energy which we still see manifested around us. For example, we often find cats referred to using the feminine pronoun. Alongside their association with the moon, cats are frequently connected with aspects of darkness. This probably comes from the idea that cats hunt at night, going off to search for prey, while humans stay indoors next to a warm fire. Cats actually prefer hunting at liminal times of half-light, such as dusk and dawn, but the association between cats and the nighttime is an enduring one. The association of cats with both darkness and being malicious led their species into real danger with superstitious humans. The idea of the cat skulking off into the night for a secret other life has given them a somewhat shadowy reputation connecting them to the dark arts and positioning them as the familiars of witches. Add to this their inherent sense of intelligence and we can perhaps see why many were thought not to be animals at all, but disguised incarnations of devils and demons. For centuries, cats were persecuted and tortured because of these beliefs, innocent casualties of the darkest side of human nature. Having exposed the darker side of humanity, it is somewhat appropriate that cats seem able to peer into the murkiest recesses of the human psyche. They make a perfect guide to the human subconscious. In fact, there are many recorded accounts of cats seeming to behave in preemptive or psychic ways. It also begs the question that if cats can see through us and even predict the future, what else can they see? There is a long tradition that cats can see ghosts and spirits. This may well be a superstition that arises from the association of cats with witches, but every cat lover will tell you about a time when their cat stared intently at an empty space for no apparent reason. What are you looking at? We ask when they do that, although we barely ever get a reply. It's not just the case that cats may be able to see ghosts, 
but also that people often report seeing cats that are ghosts. The cat of the night is becoming the cat of the cosmos. Looking up at the stars takes us on a journey back through time to the beginning of all things. That simple act of looking upwards leads us away from earthly concerns and out towards the universal. And that is the perfect place to begin our journey to explore the deep magic of the archetypal otherworldly cat of myth and legend. The seer in the darkness and stalker of shadows the cat of the night. Continue your journey and learn more about the magic of cats with our book, The Magic of Cats by Andrew Anderson, who also provided the words for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for weekly content and we'll see you next time.